Differential Association Theory and Social Learning Theory in Criminology. This theory was given by sociologist Arvin Sutherland in his book Principle of Criminology in third edition in 1939. He gave nine major principles that how people learn criminal behavior. He then revised his theory in fourth edition of his book in 1947. In this theory, Sutherland clearly defined that how crime occurs, how a person engage in crime, how a person become criminal. First point of differential association theory is criminal behavior is learned. In this point, Sutherland says that delinquency and criminal behavior is learned in the same way that any other behavior is learned. In simple way, we can say that we learn criminal behavior as we learn other normal things in society. Second point, criminal behavior is learned in interaction with other person in a process of communication. In this point, Sutherland says that people do not just start doing criminal acts. They learn how to do these acts from teachers of crime. And criminal behavior can't occur without the aid of others. In simple words, if our communication occurs with teachers of crime, then high chances to learn criminal behavior. Third point, the principal part of learning criminal behavior occurs within intimate personal groups. In this point, Sutherland says that the interactions people have with their most intimate social companions, such as family, friends, peers, have the greatest influence on their deviant behavior and attitude development. In simple words, if our intimate personal groups involve in crime, then high chances to learn criminal behavior from them. Because we cannot avoid our parents, our social companions, or their behaviors. In the end of the day, we learn somehow from them. If they are involved in criminal activities, then they are mostly communication related to how to do crimes and how other criminal activities and definitely somehow Sutherland says that we learn from them. Fourth point is when criminal behavior is learned, the learning includes techniques of committing crime and a specific direction of motives, drives, rationalization and attitudes. In this point Sutherland says that after communication and interaction with teachers, he learned techniques of committing crime, like how to commit robbery, decority, pickpocketing, and murder. After learning techniques, he learned motives, drives, rationalization, and attitudes. Motives and drives to same things. Motives and drives means reason. He learned the reason why he is actually committing or learning criminal activities. The reason may be fame, money, etc. After learning motives and drives, he learned rationalization. Rationalization in simple words to defend anything. Or we take an example of neutralization that demerit system of government. A person who is committing theft on daily basis. If anyone asks from him, why are you committing theft? Then he give strong arguments to neutralize his criminal acts that I have completed my 16 years education and still yet I didn't have any job because of dream ever system of government. My family is fearless. That's why I commit these criminal acts. Sutherland says that this is how they learn how to neutralize criminal acts. Attitude means mindset. We learn mindset that during a criminal activities or engaging in criminal activities, there is no any bad thing. Number five, the specific direction of motives and drives is learned from the definition of the legal codes as favorable or unfavorable. In this point, Sutherland calls culture conflict. This is where Juvenal admires someone holds a view about the law. 
that is different than the one of society. In turn, the juvenile will start to believe in or after the perception of the views of the person they admire rather than those of normal society. Sixth point, a person become delinquent because an excess of definition favorable to violation of law over definitions unfavorable to violation of law. In this point, Sutherland says that a person become delinquent if group in favor of criminal acts. In simple words, there are 12 people's group act in favor to commit crime for and against criminal acts. Then simply, the person lead to majority and involved in criminal activities because more people favorable towards criminal activities. Seven point differential associations may vary in frequency, duration, priority, and intensity. In this point, Sutherland gave four points. First, frequency. Frequency means how often we interact frequently with teachers of crime. If we interact more, then high chances to learn criminal behavior. In simple words, if we meet only one time in a month, then less chances to learn crime. If we meet 10 times in a month with teachers of crime, then high chances to learn criminal behavior because interactions matter. Second, duration. Sutherland says that how long time we spend with teachers of crime. For example, if our duration two hours in a day with teachers of crime, then high chances to learn crime. If our duration is two minutes randomly with teachers of crime, then less chances to learn crime. Third is priority. Sutherland says that how often we give priority to learn crime are how passionate we are to learn criminal acts. If we have less priority, then less chances to learn crime. High priority, then high chances to learn crime. Fourth point is intensity. Sutherland says that after frequency, duration, priority, how much implements you are doing. If a person implements somehow, then high chances to become criminal or a person who is trying somehow, then high chances to become criminal. Eighth point, the process of learning criminal behavior by association with criminal and anti-criminal patterns involves all the mechanisms that are involved in any other learning. In this point, Sutherland says that whether it's criminal or anti-criminal behavior to learning, the person have those all mechanisms and skills that are required to do. Last point, while criminal behavior is an expression of general needs and values, it is not explained by those needs and values since non-criminal behavior is an expression of the same needs and values. Sutherland says that the person learn criminal behavior because of needs and values. Sutherland says that needs may be to get money, fame, and values may be to survive or uh, to survive in a better way. This is all about differential association theory. Hope you understand this theory in a better way. Like and subscribe official chemnology.